Hey folks, I want to share with you a tweet that I stumbled across today. It's from a guy by the name of Matt Walsh. I don't know who Matt Walsh is. I have no idea how many followers Matt Walsh has. I found this, sadly, on Facebook. It had been shared like a hundred times by the time I got to it, and, and it just really frustrated me to read it. Here's what it says. Matt says, I've been fascinated to learn that only white people have ancestors who did bad things. Slavery, conquest, rape, etc. Only white people. We're the only ones who have to apologize. No one else. Everyone else is descended from angels. Really mind-blowing news. I had no idea. As a practitioner of sarcasm, I think Matt's being sarcastic. I think Matt is trying to tell us that everybody in the world's done horrible things, but how come white people are the only ones being picked on? I suspect if he really, really decided to go deep, he would say, I've been fascinated to learn that only white men have, been an have ancestors who've done bad things. Statements like this, they annoy me. They really, really, really make me angry. Not only because, you know, they're ridiculous on the face of them, but because it's stuff that I hear from kids. I hear this from my children from time to time. I hear this from the kids on teams that I coach. Well, everybody else is doing it. Why are you picking on me? Why are you yelling at me? Why are you angry with me? The teacher was angry at everybody. How come I'm, how come I'm the only one she called? It's all about deflection. Statements like this are all about deflection. Yes, we may have done something wrong, but we're not the only ones. Other people should have to apologize too. Well, sure. But that doesn't mean that we don't have a responsibility to stand up and own what is ours in this. Yes, other people, other nations have done horrible things over the course of human history. Yeah, you can go back right back to the first rock that the first guy picked up and smacked over the back of the head of the next guy. Sure. But that doesn't mean we, in this moment, don't step up and own our place, own our part of this. We're not talking about all the evils of humanity being lumped onto one group. Here in North America, we are particularly talking about things like racial inequality and injustice. We're talking about recognizing that it was white guys, people who looked just like me, who created a system for people that looked just like me, which ended up leaving out entire groups of people, genders of people, for centuries. It was the system that guys who look just like me put in place that for centuries oppressed people, kept them down, kept them thinking of themselves as second-class citizens because people that look just like me considered them to be second-class citizens. We're here in North America right now today a part of societies, pieces of societies that are the way they are because of the crimes, people that look just like me, guys that look just like me committed. We launched a centuries long form of genocide against the indigenous people here. How many millions, millions of Africans were enslaved by people that look just like me? No, I don't have to apologize for every th single thing that has happened throughout the course of human history. No, 
white people don't have to apologize for everything that has happened over the course of human history. No, white people aren't the only people whose ancestors have done horrible things. But we're not talking about them. We're talking about us. We're not talking about what they have done. We're talking about what we have done. Let them take care of their thing. We need to own our part. Let them deal with their history. Don't worry if they're going to get their comeuppance. Don't worry if they're going to be punished. Don't worry if they're going to have to apologize. It's what we did that we're talking about here. It's what our ancestors did that is being discussed. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face be made to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord's countenance be lifted up to you. May you always know the peace of being in the Lord's presence. And I pray that when the time comes for you and I to engage and to listen to the stories of how what was done has impacted generation after generation after generation of peoples that we will be strong enough, that we will be strong enough to hear, that we won't become defensive, and that we won't deflect, that we will be willing to be a part of the healing process, not trying to push it off on the next person. Amen.